around so they were they were blowing me up so i missed it uh so i had to send a 2500 dollars back so i had to make up for that 2500 last night try to do something else because yeah 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 man so i'm out here uh, see at this point we all need to pay close attention and really zoom into the fact that charleston white he understand and realize that he's really like he going through a thing to where he making 50k a week ti and him not even doing that boosie not even doing that and as you can see, Tootie Raw, he hurt because he not even making 10K a show. Like, you really got to pay attention to this. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, y'all doing what a player I do. Oh, how you doing? I'm sorry, now. Oh, I got to pick up all of for Charleston. Charleston? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, doing what players do, man. What players wrong, man. Nah, shit, I'm checking, man. Talking and doing all this other kind of I don't know how players do, man. Thanks to be players, man. Yeah, just don't randomly just throughout the day and just put a smile on the woman's face. Come, say they love, say how many, they love them edible rain. They say, let's just spontaneously just go get them some edible rain, man. Show up with them. Go ahead, diamond ring or something, and say, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, boy, when you go to having money, you can make people lie. Well, I'm telling you, can't do this, though. Man, getting off that fork lip. Say, yeah, yeah. Just say, just say, getting off Getting in the car, starting that. But say, waking up happy, smiling, oh, they ain't got a curl in uh, everything I church, everything I church, everything I church turn go. Oh, Jeff, I'm the Like, we know that Charleston White spoke out to support Kanye. And Boosie had a continued issue with that. Boosie didn't feel that Kanye should be wearing a shirt like that. He felt he should be, you know, wearing maybe Black Lives Matter shirt. And Charleston White said, well, she's the last one that should be wearing that because he himself has sent some up. Like, and that's the thing. They talked about five of them, five counts. But I guess there's nine counts, which means there's four instances, scenarios, situations, whatever you want to call it, that have been yet to be addressed. And I think at this point, Boosie might be quiet about certain things because he doesn't want some things coming out. You know, you have to wonder though, when these similar situations start to happen with the same people and you have the same players in the same scenarios play out with different people that get sent up, right? They you you got to wonder like how can this continue to happen like duke got sent up they took his stuff they took the gold off his neck they took the the bling off his neck that's that's not even right at all and what does it come down to it comes down to greed and envy and jealousy and essentially duke having some things or thing that other people wanted and felt in some way entitled to be able to actually just take it. Like, that's not normal. That's not normal at all. Like, you just can't be walking around, going around taking stuff because you think that you're entitled to it. That doesn't make you any better. You know, but I gotta tell you this though, Boosie be in a lot of the places at the wrong time, and it seems real coincidental. You know, nobody knew which direction this would go, but we all know that the cousin was driving the GMC for days. He was driving the GMC for days to Houston, and we know that Boosie wouldn't even go back in the GMC back when he was leaving. He hopped on a plane by himself. So what does that like, what does that say? 
because he originally went down there. But we know that in the course of days, like we see in other instances, in the course of days, there's always multiple, multiple people that are in and out of cars. And so I can't even imagine the amount of prints that are on the cars. That, that alone would take a hot minute to process all that. And it's like, we know where everyone was in the situation, you know, when this, when this all went down, we know that the shots were heard wide. And, you know, we also know that at that time when it happened, it was done during a time when there wasn't a lot of security outside. There wasn't a lot of security outside because they were inside with the show. They said that the show was going good. It was a good vibe. It was chill. It was relaxed. This wasn't even something that was on their radar that they thought would happen because everyone was just, you know, the things were going good at the at the event. And Duke got caught up out, out in the lot, you know? The thing is, though, is if he had an extra set of eyes with him, like, for him in his best interest, it wouldn't happen like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's good to go places by yourself, right? But it, you also sometimes need that extra set of eyes. You just never know when people are watching. And in this day and age, everyone, or at least someone can see every move you make, especially, especially in these big cities. And we all know that people have a price. Like, some people would say everybody's got a price. And so, at what point and at what price is everyone willing, you know, to share what they know? Clear it all up so that they won't think that, like, so basically Bootsy was trying to cover it up and say that. He didn't want nobody to think that he signed Shorty now to that parking lot. Right. Shorty now ran through the back. Backstage down the stairway. Mm -hmm. They that's, had eyes. All that's, eyes. That's the only way they was able to get do. Mm -hmm. Like, you really got to understand what's going on, man. And I know a lot of people sit back looking at it from a whole different perspective, but we can all, hey, hit the like button if you're new to the channel, man. I know a lot of people sit back looking like, Duke the jeweler was one person that Boosie didn't want to sell no jewelry to his guys. Boosie wanted to be the middleman. Boosie wanted them to literally sit back and buy the jewelry through him. And mm -hmm. Boosie studied telling them, yeah, I got a jewelry connect, mm -hmm. but not putting them on. Yeah, he Dude, wanted he a didn't want, He didn't want to get them to do yeah. number. Right. He wanted a cut because as long as he could... He profit had a piece of it, of it, right. He was able to profit off of it. And we all know for a fact that people sit back and look at this and be like, you know what? Did Boosie get himself into a certain situation that he basically got a hat out from? Boosie got to sit back. Boosie can't go to certain cities. Number one. Number two. They not going. Nobody on 93rd is going to let Boosie just get away with it what happened with Duke. And we all know for a fact that this is a revolving door and we can understand that people sit back and take things with a grain of salt, man. You gotta really be mindful of what's going on. Yeah, I mean, Boosie himself says to everyone, you can't trust anyone. You can't trust family, you can't trust friends, you can't trust them. And there's a reason, you know, if he feels you can't even trust anyone, we know there's a reason. He brought him down there, he put him in a position that he thought that he would be able to build with and he ended up, you know, catching him when he was weak and when he least expected it. I mean, but they got cameras everywhere and they got footage from all over new spots. All over the parking yeah. lot. Like, you gotta understand, the spot where his car was parked at and then the back gate right there on the side where Tootie Rawlin jumped mm -hmm. over to grab the bags out the back and to grab the, you feel me, the jury off the yeah. neck, man. That is what, they got that footage. 
the people got the footage and I want to bring the breaking news to y'all, man. Yeah. The people got the footage of everything that happened that day, man. And I know a lot of people sit back looking at it from a whole different perspective. When you can all in actual reality be like, you know what? Boosie kind of got himself into a jam. Yeah, I mean, they know what he was doing. He know what he was doing. And it was quite clear that it was no secret. You know what I mean? What was going on? It's just Duke, Duke got caught up in it. And who knows? I mean, if he had an extra set of eyes with them and someone who looked out with it for him, it would have never went down like that. I mean, people be doing all kinds of secretive shit and at the end of the day, it all comes out to light. And it all comes out in the truth. It comes out in the end. Yeah, and I know a lot of people sit back and sit there and look at it from a whole different perspective, but you- Whereas they are fully accountable for being somewhere at the time when it happened and they're completely on film to show that it wasn't them. But that's all done intentionally. They parked somewhere else where there was cameras right there on the inside and it's facts that they see them there when it happened, you know what I mean? They, they said that the security guard of the patrolling yep. the area like the parking lot security, they said that was the main one who saw Boosie yeah. cousin yeah. run through the back of the hatch right. of the red truck. Right, right. You gotta understand, man, the truck part. Like, real talk, man. I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on, man. Take heed to what's going on, man, because a lot of people sit back and be like, man, why would Boosie even get himself into this situation? One reason, he wanted the inventory. Right, right. He wanted the inventory. He thought that all these unmarked pieces and then knew, no one knew what was out there. You know what I mean? That's all private. And so it's protected. He thought that he'd get a come up on it, on the bag. Plus the amount of stuff that, that he had on, the Duke had on himself. I mean, we all know that if, regardless at the end of the day, all they need to do is melt it down. You know what I mean? Like, it might be no good as is, but they still value as it as a brick, you know? And you pop out those those rocks inside, you're good. Yeah, and that's why I always say people, like, some people sit there and really don't be mindful to what's going on, but you gotta understand, mm -hmm. this will be far from doing, boy. Yeah, yeah. We all know this, man. Mm -hmm. We all know for a fact of what's really going on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot, there's a lot that's gonna come out. And obviously all the cameras and the footage and all the evidence isn't gonna be shown until the trial because that's nothing that, you know, if it's put out there, then it can go in either direction. But if they hold all the evidence and the footage that wasn't, didn't get out there, then it's just a matter of time until, just a matter of time until it all is shared, you know? and. We know that the truth comes out in the end. And you know, Charleston White, um, he just, he has really gotten himself involved in the whole, everything with Boosie and he has really, he's really, you know, put himself out there with the, with the, um, Tootie Raw and King, you know, he's started to get a lot of money uh, together and he's talking about the kick, the guys getting, gonna get locked up. And so, you know, I mean, we all know he's got a lot to say about Boosie and, and Tootie and T.I. and King, he's but- He's looking crazy. He does look he, completely I'm crazy. I'm talking about he pointing at everybody. Yeah. He's pointing at everybody, he's looking mm -hmm. crazy. He's making a lot of calls out and he's putting a lot of information out there. He's sitting in the car, man. Yeah, yeah. He's and he real life putting out everything that he needs to put out for yeah. people. I mean, he's he's really pointing out and he's calling people out on everything. He looks completely crazy. He looks completely crazy. All the stuff that's come out in the last couple of days, honestly, I really can't stand listening to him. But he just yeah, but it, you got to understand, Charles to my, I agree with him, boy, at the end of the day, boy, because for number one, yep. Charles to my, was the one who called everybody 
to the front and told them, like, it's either y'all gonna help uh-huh. or not. He was sitting in the chair when he said it, man. Right, right. I mean, he was looking, he really, at the end of the day, speaks that he wanted to just get them help. I mean, he got the whole, started with Kanye. And, you know, and then that's when Trudy Raw and King started defending Boosie and T.I. and everything else. And it started going going on from there. He ended up um, going live. Going live. He got rid of, uh, they got rid of all their Yeezys and, and everything else. And, you know, Duke has, um, has had a lot of impact on the community as well. And so that's the thing. Uh, the comments say Charleston's gonna end up getting, you know, sent up. And he has a lot of he has a lot of uh, say out there. You know, he knows a lot of people. And Boosie's been pretty quiet after when it comes to situations with Charleston White. He, there's a lot of things that um, I guess originally he had something to do with five cases, but. Now they're talking about there was nine cases, and really, I think the concern is that if they open up the nine, the other four cases that could be cold cases. Because it's a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of information, and they might be old, but at the end of the day, people still have a conscience and you know know a lot of information, and they might be guilt attached to it, and they might be ready, and we know that the truth comes out in the end. And you know, Charleston White, um, he just, he has really gotten himself involved in the whole, everything with Boosie. And he has really, he's really, you know, put himself out there with the, with the, um, Tootie Raw and King, you know, he started to get a lot of money uh, together, and he's talking about the kick, the guys getting gonna get locked up. And so, you know, I mean, we all know he's got a lot to say about Boosie and and Ti and, and, T. and King. He's but looking crazy. He does look he, completely. I'm crazy. talking about he pointing at everybody. Yeah. He's pointing at everybody, he's looking mm-hmm. crazy. He's making a lot of calls out and he's putting a lot of information out there. He's sitting in the car, man. Yeah, yeah. He's and he's real live, putting out everything that he needs to put out for yeah. people. I mean, he's he's really pointing out and he's calling people out on everything. He looks completely crazy. He looks completely crazy. All the stuff that's come out in the last couple of days, honestly, I really can't stand listening. But he just yeah, but it, you got to understand, Charleston might, I agree with him, boy, at the end of the day, boy, because for number one, yeah, Charleston White was the one who called everybody to the front and told them, like, it's either y'all going to help uh-huh. or not. He was sitting in the chair when he said it, man. Right, right. I mean, he was looking, he really, at the end of the day, speaks that he wanted to just get them help. I mean, he got the whole, started with Kanye. And, you know, and then that's when Trudy Raw and King started defending Boosie and T.I. and everything else. And it started going going on from there. He ended up um, going live. Going live. He got rid of, uh, they got rid of all their Yeezys and, and everything else. And, you know, Duke has, um, has had a lot of impact on the community as well. And so... You know, everyone showing that Boosie had nothing to do with it, but at the end of the day, we know that Boosie brought him down there. Hey you, mom who's ready to start a business but is way too busy. Take a breath, you got this. If you can handle motherhood, you can handle anything. Start by registering your LLC for free today at sendbusiness.com slash moms. Excuse me. What kind of car do you drive? What? What kind of car do you drive? Um, a... And, you know, Charleston is going to end... That's the thing. Uh, the comments say Charleston's going to end up getting, you know, sent up. And he has a lot of... He has a lot of uh, say out there. You know, he knows a lot of people. And Boosie's been pretty quiet 
after when it comes to situations with Charleston White. He, there's a lot of things that um, I guess originally he had something to do with five cases, but now they're talking about there was nine cases. And really, I think the concern is that if they open up the nine, the other four cases that could be cold cases. Because it's a lot of people. Yep, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of information. And they might be old, but at the end of the day, people still have a conscience and, you know, know a lot of information. And there might be guilt attached to it and they might be ready.